the New Jersey Pinelands National Reserve. Been to Pinelands National Reserve all morning long, looking for snakes with a family from our church, dad and two sons. Let me show you what we were able to discover on our adventure. I'm tired. These are abandoned railroad tracks right here. We just came across an old trestle. We got a snake! A worm, a snake. worm snake! So these are fossorial snakes. They spend most of their time underground, eating mostly insects, worms, slugs. They're a smooth-scaled snake, so they're a little more of a smooth feel than some of the other snakes, like the bigger snakes we have here. Very small, this is about as big as they get. It won't bite. You don't have to worry about that with this one. <laughs> The prize, the prize sighting. What kind? What species For of snake? For me, the pine snake is always a big thrill. The rattlesnake, of course, is in New Jersey, my favorite. Yeah. And uh, this year, with the help of Daniel and David, we were able to find that. Pine snakes, maximum length of what? Like eight feet, about. Eight feet. Yeah, close, close to eight feet. Wow. And and how big of a rattlesnake would you find out here? Maximum size? Like probably six. five feet. Five feet. That's feet. that's a big serpent. Yeah, this is a neonate. This is a yearling. It was just born. So technically these are venomous. Their fangs are in the back of their mouth and it's not harmful to humans. This is a hognose snake. They're very hard to find because they spend almost all of their time underground. They eat almost exclusively toads as well. And they're really good actors. They like to flatten their head and pretend they're a cobra. And a lot of times they'll play dead and they'll just hang completely limp upside down. Gorgeous day here in the pine lands. Uh, the vegetation is absolutely beautiful. On the highest level you have uh, some pine trees, mainly a lot of pitch pines. And then in the middle level you have just a bunch of wild blueberry bushes and uh, also a lot of oak trees as well. A lot of neat history here in the pine lands. One of the things that was done here in the past was farming cranberries. And we come across these cranberry bogs. There's another one that was once used for harvesting cranberries that is now abandoned. This is pretty neat. All deserted cranberry bogs. So they tell me the New Jersey devil lives out here. A little more south. A ah. little more south. We, yeah. uh, there's a, there's a we were on his trail a couple times. We, we had him and just he's elusive. He's very elusive. That's what they very say. Elusive. Yeah. He doesn't show up in camera either. There's stories. Shane says, what's the New Jersey Devil? A hockey team. <laughs> <laughs> a myth of New Jersey. Folklore, right? So what snakes out here are poisonous? Just the or I should say venomous is the correct yes. word, right? The only medically significant one is the rattlesnake. Okay. Um, that's the only one that has fangs that are in the front of the mouth and that can deliver a poison that is harmful to humans. Uh, most snakes are actually venomous. Um, almost all of them are. They have fangs in the back of their mouth that they use to immobilize prey. So it's more of a paralytic type of venom, but it doesn't have any effect on humans. Uh, copperheads, are they in this area? They are further north. Because okay. um, they, are, they not, are venomous, they are aren't they? They are not in the yes. Pine Barrens, yes. Right. And then what about uh, water moccasins? They're the, way more south. Those are nowhere around New Jersey. You have to go to extreme southern Virginia is the closest okay. place that has them. So. Don't have to worry about those in New Jersey. And when you guys talk about rattlesnakes, they're they're very rare, aren't they? Yes. They I mean, are the average person that lives in New Jersey could live your entire life here and probably never Absolutely. come across one. They're an endangered you will species. Live your entire life without ever seeing <laughs> yeah, one. Yeah. <laughs> and if you get bit by one in New Jersey, if you live and you survive, the state's going to come and tag you with a big fine because you were you shouldn't have been that close to it. Interesting. You should have uh -huh. ran. And even if you go out intentionally trying to find them. 
you still have a very small chance of actually finding them. Right. So. And that's even a person like you that knows what he's doing. Yes. You're yep. still going to have a tough time yes. locating one. I've found three live rattlesnakes in New Jersey in my life. Oh, really? Yeah. All of them were this oh. year, though. So oh. this year has been a good year for me. So Dan, to find a rattlesnake, are we looking pretty much along the side of the path or do we have to turn over logs? They could be anywhere. You're most likely going to see one sitting coiled up in some brush near dead logs or debris, things like that. Um, just sitting there waiting for food. Do they camouflage pretty much well with the uh, surroundings here? Very, very well, yes. Yeah, so um, the average person could probably walk right by one and never even see it. Yep, I've almost stepped on them before not seeing them. Now we found a black racer. Here he goes. Here he is. He's coming to you guys. Yep, he's right here. You see him? I see him, Daniel. Daniel, right here. Right here, Daniel. Dude. Daniel, right here. I see him, I see back up, Shane. Back up. I'm ready to grab. Daniel got him. Daniel has him. I was about to grab. Where you at? I got him. I got him. We're good. We're good. Okay. Dude, you guys. You guys are incredible, man. I'm going to walk right past yeah, that baby. thing. This is a little. black racer. Black racer? Yeah, this is a pretty small one for a racer. Yeah. He hasn't tried to bite yet. Yeah. Nope. Is that beautiful or what? Look at the colors. I Gorgeous snake. Racers, so. Smell it. You smell him now, right? Yeah. That's his defense. It's a pretty big one. It's a good Four size. Feet. You want to touch him? Decent yeah. size. All right, so Daniel, this is a, uh, a pretty impressive find then? This black is a racer? Black racer. They're pretty common, but they're also very, very fast. Yes. So if they if they take off, it's very hard to chase them down. Really go in the water that much. They will if they're trying to get Watch away from bite, a predator. You can bite, can you? Can, yep. Shane, head back up, buddy. Back up your hand, man. <laughs> I was about that. to grab him, and then you, you dove and away. said you had him. If you try to eat that and you smell that, ew, right? So he hopes whatever's going to eat him. Underbelly's them. really the, pretty. Look at the rainbow colors in there. Mm -hmm. Can you see here? Like, yeah. That feels cool. That's beautiful. Yeah, look at that. I could see based upon this map, there's the pine lands, and we're pretty much right in the center of it, aren't we? Yeah. Overall, about six miles? Yep. Yeah, probably. So what do you guys think? Good day today in the pine lands? Yeah, absolutely. Four snakes overall? Yeah, I'd say that's successful. <laughs> it's hot. Yeah. Where are we off to now? Snow cones. It better be open. <laughs> <laughs>